Hello everyone, Crowd Dog here. Uh, I wanted to share an experience I had with an application called ScreenFlow 4. I recently downloaded the application uh, in order to do screen recordings. Um, as I, I used to use QuickTime for that, and QuickTime seemed to have some, um, I guess I would call it quality issues. Uh, a lot of the recordings come out blurry, so I'm hoping ScreenFlow is a lot better. But initially using ScreenFlow, I uh, ran into some issues uh, with some errors uh, on the first recording I did and it got stuck in an error loop. And I'll show you uh, the errors I'm talking about. Okay, so the first error I received was this one. And you can see it it, what it tried to do was, um, after the first recording, I tried to, um, it wanted to access my contacts. So I said, okay, you know, that's fine. I don't have anything in there anyway. So I let it access my contacts. And then after that, uh, it continued to give me trouble. The next uh, error I ran into was this one. And you can see the first video I was doing, it, you know, it's showing my my uh, Logitech uh, C615 camera as well as what I was, you know, doing a test video on. And it gave me um, this um, error, so some kind of a runtime error. And um, then from there, it, you know, it just it pro progressively got worse. Um, and then I started getting these crash logs and um, it just became a nightmare. So I went to the uh, Telestream, I think that's the website, the, uh, that's the uh, creator of the ScreenFlow uh, software. So I went to their website and uh, posted on the forum, provided my screenshots. And um, a little while later, you know, I waited and waited, didn't get really much of a response. So I went to the Apple forums, posted a, the, you know, pretty much the same post I did on Telestream, and uh, I got a response there saying, you know, since Mavericks just came out, and I did upgrade to Mavericks, um, you know, we thought maybe there was a compatibility issue. Um, so, you know, I, I was kind of okay with that, and then I got to reading some more forums like today actually two days later and um, I found out that uh, there's an app called easy find and I can show you that one which um, what led me to the easy find out was users were having trouble they would create a video then the application would crash and then they would lose the video or so they thought but you could do a find with spotlight um, for .scc files, that's the ScreenFlow extension, and it would find the file uh, sometimes, but sometimes the recordings were hidden or you couldn't find them easily. So this easy find application, it's a squirrel. Look at that. <laughs> so the easy find application is free app. Downloaded it from the App Store. Um, set up my criteria for searching, and did a search for screen flow. I found some files. Well actually I did a search for SCC and um, the results came back with you know it found the video that it, I had initially created and as you can see it's finding the one that I'm creating now. This is the temporary video of what I'm doing right now. So it found the file and then I deleted that file, restarted the application, still had the same problem. It would get stuck in this error loop. So I said, okay, I'll uninstall the application. Uh, then I did a search for um, anything that had screen flow in the name. And this is after I've uninstalled the application. So you would think that the um, application uninstall would remove 
all of the files that the application uses. Well, that's not necessarily true for every application. But this one uh, actually had a bunch of files, a bunch of crash logs, a bunch of preference files that were left over. So what I did was I removed all those, reached over the machine, did a search again, removed the ones that were in use at the time, reached over the machine, uh, my Mac Mini, and then downloaded um, ScreenFlow 4 again, installed it, and it seems to be working fine now. So uh, thanks to this little application called EasyFind, I was able to use ScreenFlow. So it's really a lifesaver and it does uh, a much better job in my opinion than Spotlight in finding files as it finds files um, that are hidden and um, files that you wouldn't normally be able to find yourself. So uh, Easy Find is an excellent application if you're looking for an application that, that's, that's good for finding files um, on your computer or your Mac. OS X Mavericks, and that's what I'm using right now. I would recommend uh, Easy Find. It's a free application on the App Store, and it does a fantastic job. Uh, really, really happy with this. This is probably one of the best apps that I've downloaded in a long time. So that's really it uh, for this video. So thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, this will help somebody out there that may be having some trouble with their with our Mac um, or OS X. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. All right, have a great day.